Hello friends, this is a video to show you guys how to install a hydronic water heater on a sailboat that has never had a water heater installed before. I'll show you how I plumb mine to the engine and how the whole system works and explain the process. That way, if you've never had one installed on your boat and you want to, this is how you go about it. Let's get into it. making this video to explain to you guys how to do a initial install of a water heater on a boat with an inboard motor. Um, I saw a number of videos on YouTube showing how to replace water heaters, um, which is pretty simple. You just take out the old one and put in the new one. I couldn't find any that showed like a fresh install, like on a boat that had never had a water heater installed. Um, and if you don't know where things go, it's a little confusing. And I couldn't find a lot of resources online to kind of help me understand how to do this correctly. So I felt like I need to give back to YouTube. I've learned so much through YouTube. So I want to give back this video showing anyone who's getting ready to install a water heater on their boat and there's never been one installed. The way the water heater that we purchased, which is a Johnson pump water heater, works and the way many water heaters work on boats with inboard engines is it it heats water in one of two ways um, the first way is you it has a heating element inside similar to the water heater at your home uh, that is hooked to the shore power so ac power and anytime you're on shore power or if you have a generator on board you can flip the switch like we have a switch over here flip that switch and it heats based on your AC current. The other way, which is the much cooler way, <laughs> is it heats the water in the water tank using what's called hydronic heating. So it pulls the hot like a uh, coolant or antifreeze from your engine. It cycles it through hoses up into a coil inside the tank heats the water, and then the same coolant returns and continues this process through your engine. So it's just like a little bypass, taking that extremely hot coolant that is naturally occurring on your engine, diverting it to heat water before it returns to your heat exchanger, is cooled down by seawater, um, and then keeps going through the cycle over and over again. Uh, that's pretty amazing. So when you're running your engine, you basically have like free heating for your hot water. You can also get small like um, like actual heaters, like air heaters for your boat that run on the same exact principle and it can even be tacked in in line with your water heater. So you can get a hydronic heating fan for your boat that you mount on a bulkhead somewhere that uses the same thing. It takes the, the hot coolant, it goes through, there's a fan that pushes the um, the warmed air out of the little heater and then it continues on either back to your engine or to your water heater. Um, we only installed the water heater. We don't have the, the um, hydronic heating unit for air, but I just wanted to let you guys know about that, that that's another option as well. Okay, so first I wanna take a moment to thank Sailing Solstice on Instagram. When I was getting ready to do this, I, for the life of me, could not figure out where to plumb off of the engine to send the, the coolant to the water heater. And since there's never been one on this boat, it's not like I could just like find the old fittings and, and, and go from there. I looked and looked online. I couldn't find any clear um, you know, information about it. Um, I have a Yanmar 2 GM20F, and, uh, which is a pretty common motor. And after looking for a long time, I even looked through the manual, like I have like the service manual and everything for the engine. I looked and looked and couldn't figure it out. And I did, for sure, didn't want to do it wrong. So I was like, I need to know the exact way to do this. Um, so I actually posted on Instagram, just being like, hey, does anybody have one of these installed? And can you like give me some tips or send me photos of how yours is hooked up? And Selling Solstice was so nice, he like, took photos of how his was plumbed and actually took photos of the the um, illustration from the manual and circled the two spots with like a red uh, circle 
so that I could see. And then once he pointed it out, then I was able to find it in my manual. And in very small print, it says, you know, to water heater or whatever. But it is like, unless you know where to look, it would be very hard to stumble upon it. Um, so thanks so much, Sailing Solstice. I really appreciate it. You, you kind of saved my butt on this one. Um, so you have two connections that come off of your engine. One that sends the hot coolant to your water heater and then one that allows it to return and continue on to the heat exchanger. Now on my Yanmar 2GM20, there were already plugs in place to allow this to take place. So it was very easy for me to just unscrew these plugs, put on elbows or uh, barbed ends that accepted the um, heater hose, and um, put on sealant, get those tightened down, and then run all my hose and everything. One on the side, and then one on the top near to the pulley. And you want to make sure that you have high heat sealant that you're sealing all of these threads with, because everything you're dealing with gets extremely hot when the engine's going. Now one thing that I did was directly after the hoses left the engine, I installed shutoff valves so that right at the engine, I could shut both of them off and the coolant's going to follow its natural path through the water pump like it would if this was never even installed. The main reason to install these shutoff valves is there's a leak in the system, you're not going to lose all of your coolant. You'll be able to isolate it immediately, top your coolant up with your engine so everything's fine, and then sort out where your leak is between the engine and the water heater. After getting all the fittings installed, the valves installed, I ran the hose under the settee, forward to the head, and then hooked them up to the correct ins and outs on the bottom of the water heater. Everything's clearly marked on a water heater. And then in the same order, I took the return hose, it went under the settee, and then plumbed it back to the engine, completing the return system. Now I can't stress enough how important those shutoff valves are and to have them right at hand by the engine so that if anything goes wrong, you don't want your engine to overheat when you're in a, in a crazy place because there's a leak somewhere down the line because a hose chafed through. So really, really think about putting those shutoff valves in right at the engine if you can. After all the hydronic hoses and everything was hooked up, then it's just a matter of motoring, motoring around and testing it out and getting free hot water off of your engine. Now the next step in that process, which I didn't get any filming of, was running the AC, but that's all pretty self-explanatory. There's a heating element on the bottom. There's actually a little thermostat where you can adjust the heat because it gets very hot um, for the, um, the heating element itself. Um, you can buy sort of like mixer valves uh, that will kind of pre-mix because we found it's very hard to find it either not scalding or too cold. So it's a little tricky, but we don't have the actual like water mixing valve for the hydronic section for the hydronic part. Um, so that's something to think about when you're doing your initial install. We went with the six gallon Johnson pump, um, which seems to be more than enough for us. Uh, one kind of amazing thing that we discovered when we installed this was um, one of our trips, I don't remember if it was to Catalina or the Channel Islands, but we motor sailed out to the island and then the next like morning, Camille like rinsed off with it and it was still completely warm, which was super cool. So there's, especially the new ones, they're, they're very well insulated and, and work like a charm. So yeah, that's it. That's how you do it. Um, and I just wanted to make you guys a quick video to show you how this is all run because I couldn't find one before. And um, I'll show you guys our steamy hot water now. Here's a shot of the hot water in action. If you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss any future episodes. And uh, let us know what, what you think down in the comments. If you have any questions, um, I try to answer everything I can. Sometimes I'm too busy or, or we're off out of cell range, but um, I do my very best. So if you've got anything to say about it, let me know.
So thanks for watching and fair winds until next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. It helps us a lot. Thanks again to all of our patrons. Your contributions help us get the boat ready for big things. Until next time.